Hello, everybody. It's so good to be back today. I'm just going to be doing this Jennifer Lawrence inspired look. I think she wore this to the Academy Awards. I want to say maybe last year. I'm not sure. It's when she had blonde hair before she was Katniss and all of that stuff. But um, I really like the look. It's been pretty popular from what I can tell online and stuff. And so I just liked it. It's kind of more of a smoky brown eye. And it's it's specifically for people with hooded eyelids because that's what she has. And so that's kind of I'm kind of reaching out to you guys because I've never really done that because I don't have hooded eyelids um, but let me just say that hooded eyes are beautiful there's I don't think that you know somebody with like bigger eyes or hooded eyes like I don't see any difference really um, honestly like they're both really pretty and it may be a little bit harder to wear certain kinds of looks um, you might think but this look is gonna be just the same for everybody and I think it'll work out really well so anyway be happy with what your eyes look like it's awesome I love it when people are confident in what they look like and everything so anyway um hopefully you like this video hopefully it helps you out in some way and thank you so much for watching Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the foundation i'm using the revlon color stay whipped in buff and you just want something that gives you pretty good coverage and something more on the matte side versus dewy if you want to get more of the look that she's wearing so i usually just apply this with my fingers um, because it's easiest and i can kind of control the coverage that way so, just blend it in. So once you've got the desired coverage with that, go ahead and touch up with a concealer if you need to. I'm using the Revlon um, Blemish Concealer Revlon Color Stay. Alright, and then I'm going to use some sort of a mattifying powder. I'm using the MAC Blot Powder. And I would just press it on more than brush it just so we get that extra matte finish. All right, I'm going to use some under eye concealer. Um, if you need that, obviously do some. I think I'm actually going to use my Laura Mercier Secret Concealer. I'm only using it because um, I'm going to wash my face very soon after this tutorial. Um, but normally this stuff creases on me like crazy, so I can't, I can't wear it. Um, don't know why I've kept it, mainly just because I could use it on someone else, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm going to use a concealer brush with it. Hold on. So right there, it looks pretty darn good. But it will not last. Alright, and now I'm going to set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Okay, so that's it for the base, and we're going to start with the eyes as usual. I'm using the Palladio Herbal Eyeshadow Primer, and I'll put that all over. You can use whatever primer you have, obviously, and I don't really recommend this stuff. It works okay, but just doesn't. The color payoff, once you put the shadow on it, isn't as good as, like, Too Faced or Urban Decay, so it's kind of a bummer, but this stuff is so much cheaper, and it really does a good job. I mean, there still is, like, barely any creasing. Um, so that's good. Okay, so for the eyeshadow, um, what I'm going to do, as I've said in the description, is that um, her eyelids, her eyes are very hooded, and so this look that I'm doing is going to be, I'm trying to replicate what she has, and so if you do have hooded eyes, which I know a lot of my subscribers do, um, you can totally wear this and it will look really good, it'll look like hers. Um, now for me, I don't really have hooded eyes. So it's going to look different when I put it on myself, but if you just follow the steps, 
um, applying it to your own eyes. Hopefully it should look the same as hers um, with your eyes. So anyway, that being said, I am using this Stila in the light and this is a sample that I got from Sephora, but this is a palette that they have um, and there's just a lot of great neutral colors. And if you don't know, Stila eyeshadows are really, really good quality. Um, they're super pretty, really pigmented. I love them. So I'm gonna use a few colors from this and let me get my brushes situated get my picture <laughs> so first of all I'm going to start with a base alright so I'll just show you the colors I'm going to use so that I don't have to keep holding this up um, okay so the first color I'm using is bare and it's just a really nice um, neutral color that's going to be all over the lid then I'm going to use um, sandstone which is right here nice darker brown then I'm going to use gil or this is gilded gold and that's going to be kind of more of the crease color and then I'm going to use this luster for kind of the eyeliner uh, part of the look. Cool. Oh, I just feel so bubbly inside even though I'm just kind of talking like monotone. I just want to like let loose for some reason. It's so funny. So I guess I could talk to you while I'm doing this. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously I haven't made a video for a while, uh, quite a while, and I'm sorry for it because I, I do enjoy it, and I've kind of missed it. I've been wanting to make videos, but just I've been working a lot, and then once I get home from work, I'm so tired. I don't want to do anything, and so I've been, yeah, I just today, I finally had a day off, and I was just like, you know what? I am going to make a video because it's been way too long. <laughs> so, yep, but I'm doing good. Yep, I am. Thank you for continuing to watch my videos and for staying subscribed even though I've been pretty absent. That's much appreciated and it just makes me want to make videos and it's just, I don't know, like for me, I I know that people still watch makeup tutorials but I never watch them <laughs> and so it's kind of weird. I don't know, like I kind of think that everybody does what I do which obviously they don't um, <laughs> but anyway, I just keep forgetting that people still watch makeup tutorial videos and I mean I still wish I had some great idea to do something else like something that has to do with makeup or skincare or you know that kind of thing but I just haven't come up with anything yet I don't think so if you have any great ideas stuff that you love to watch or see even if other people do it I don't care um, let me know because I would love to just kind of branch out a little bit Okay, so now I'm moving on to Sandstone. I'm using my MAC 217. Just a really great blending brush that's big, but you can use it still on the lid and it'll um, work good. Sorry about the lighting, guys. I It's just dark outside and I can't help it. It's I mean, it's not dark. It's, what, 4 o'clock in the evening? afternoon whatever and it's just raining and overcast so it's kind of fortunately I can't make it too much lighter outside or inside alrighty so there's that and so like I was saying for people with hooded lids um, you just want to really put that on like the smallest I mean it's gonna still be on your lid space so whatever that looks like even if it's really small or hard to find just it's gonna be a, probably at least half as thick as what I put on for you um, but you just want that darker color there so when you open your eyes you don't really see it too much it's gonna be just kind of something when you shut your eyes you can see that color stand out more alrighty so on to the crease color and that is the gilded gold one. It's a little bit more of a bronzy, bronzy um, brown. And I'll use a larger blending brush because she definitely has it pretty high up, almost to the the brow bone. It's kind of kind of a fun, smoky '80s type type of uh, look, without being ugly like so much of the '80s were, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right there in the crease like the higher part and just really blend it in. Mm, it's not showing up too much. <laughs> Let's put a little more on there.
Okay, so I think that's pretty much what I want it to look like. It will look better, don't worry, once we get the liner on and stuff. Right now it's just kind of like, oh, did you get punched in the eye? <laughs> Alrighty, so now I'm going to use the Luster, which is the darker of the colors. It's almost like an, it's got like a touch of olive in it. It's kind of a brown with some olive undertones. And I'm using the MAC 219 brush, um, just some kind of a brush you can do with a thick line with. Um, it's kind of my plan here. So once again, with the hooded eyes, um, this is going to be pretty thick, and so it's going to cover up a bit of this color, but make sure you still leave some of that, just so you have sort of that definition. I'm just going to blend this right along the lash line. So now I'm going to put a little bit underneath the eyelid as well, or underneath the eye. And she does have it pretty much all the way, so we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so now the fun part, the eyeliner. I'm using um, a gel liner. This is by Bobbi Brown. It's in black. Black ink um, is her name for it. So I'm just going to do a line of that. Um, we're basically, I am going to use some false eyelashes. So she definitely seems to have some on. Her eyes are looking very droopy, kind of Mar Marilyn Monroe-esque, um, which is also a plus. So if you have hooded eyes, you get that really pretty droopy eye kind of look easily. Um, but she pretty much has it where it kind of starts not even all the way in, but kind of like a three quarters of the way in and then just gets like a lot thicker on the outer part. And that's why the lashes just kind of accentuate that thickness on the outer corners. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and I'll let you watch me, but it's going to take a little bit because I am a perfectionist. <laughs> so hopefully you can see here. Make sure you kind of wing it out a little bit at the end. Or a lot, whatever your brush decides to do. Alright, so that's pretty much what I did with that, so I'll do the other side. Okay, and I decided to go back in with the Luster with a denser liner brush, and I'm going to put that kind of right above the black line, because hers seems to be a bit darker than how mine turned out, so... Alright, so now I'm going to start with the eyelashes, and I'm using the Ardell 109s. Um, if you have something that's even thicker, then this, denser, I wouldn't do much longer, but denser, that would be totally fine too. Um, this is just kind of the thickest that I had, and I think but I think it's going to work out pretty well for this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put those on. I do have a video on applying false lashes, so if you need to know how to do that, go ahead and watch it. And then I will come back and show you the rest of it. All right, so once you're happy with your eyelashes, we're going to go ahead and just do some mascara. So I'm using the uh, 
Jordan, no, what's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara, which was super cheap, and it works pretty good. Um, I'm going to do that, then I will do my eyebrows, and then I will put a dark brown eyeliner on my waterline. Um, you can do something, I mean, it doesn't have to be super dark. I would prefer probably not too dark um, for this look, but just a little bit of something. Um, she definitely has a little bit of something on her waterline. So I'll do that, and then I will come back and show you the cheeks and the lips. All right, so the eyes are finished now, and for the cheeks, I'm going to be using a kind of goldy peach blush. This is NYX um, Summer Peach, so it's just got some nice gold shimmer to it. And I'm using my Sonia Kashuk um, blush brush. And then the lips, um, just go ahead and use some kind of nude combination with the lip gloss. I'm using this uh, Revlon Color Stay Smooth Nude Lipstick. And then on top of that, I'm going to put a Bare Minerals Buxom Lips um, in Sandy. All right, you guys, so this is my finished Jennifer Lawrence-inspired look. Um, hopefully it helped you out in some way. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you so much for subscribing and keeping, continuing to um, keep up with me even though I am not always on. So I really appreciate it, but hopefully, um, hopefully you like this look, and please let me know any more requests you might have. So I will see you later. Bye.